final round. Fight your lead, motherfucker! Pussy, uh, 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 Die, bitch! Uh, Finish him! Uh, fucking take it! Brutality. Uh, it's too uh, easy! Flawless victory. Uh, I'm gonna lay you out, bitch! Uh, Fuck uh, you! Die, bitch! Fatality. Oh, this is gonna hurt! Uh, Fuck you, asshole! Uh, Die! Uh, this is war, bitch! Don't worry, man. Don't worry. If you're staring at your screen right now saying to yourself, what the fuck am I looking at? It's okay. I'm here to explain that to you because what you're looking at is a masterpiece. Right out of the gate, I've got to warn you that I am going to spoil the plot and this game has an outrageous amount of profanity. So if you have small children in the room, be sure to turn your volume up because these roasts are fucking godlike. Motherfucking cocksucker! Die, bitch! Eat lead, you fuck! Game over, bitch! Now, I know your brain is probably filled with questions right now, such as... Why are you playing this game? And why does a video game about a rapper even exist? Well, 50 Cent might not seem like much today, but a decade ago, he was the coolest motherfucker on the planet. He made money from rap, he made money from movies, he made money from vitamin water. He even got shot nine times, including once in the mouth, and survived. Can you believe that shit? He was like a bulletproof black rap Superman that also sold crack. Why would you not want to make a video game about him when everything he touches blows up like a pinata filled with cash? Enter 50 Cent Blood on the Sand, the sequel to his first game, 50 Cent Bulletproof, that's notoriously known as the Dark Souls of rap themed video games. <laughs> The story itself is pretty damn simple, because after performing a show in the Middle East, 50 Cent finds himself empty-handed after the 10 million dollars he was promised for the show doesn't come through. 10 million, guaranteed. I, that's the deal. I don't have the money. It was stolen. What? By who? <laughs> I was half expecting him to say, by Homst. Instead, he's offered a priceless diamond encrusted skull that is abruptly stolen from him by a terrorist group, and he makes it his mission to murder the thieves and retrieve his spooky looking blank. You know, part of me wants to ask why he wouldn't get the $10 million up front when he's performing in an unnamed, war torn Middle Eastern country without a functioning government, but. What do I know? I'm just a voice in the back of your head. And that's where you come in, as you and a buddy get to tear apart the country piece by piece on a rampage to get both revenge and the skull in the most gangster way imaginable. This is war, bitch! Picking a sidekick is where everything starts, and you've got three choices. Tony Ayo, Lloyd Banks, and DJ Who Kid. Tony Ayo's a convicted felon and arguably the most dangerous out of the group, hashtag free Ayo. Lloyd Banks I always found pretty boring, and I obviously chose DJ Who Kid. Because he's DJ Who Kid. Now, I think it goes without saying that I would have chosen Young Buck if he were available because I'm not sure how many of you guys know about him, but he's one of the most terrifying rappers of all time. And he's the perfect pair for 50 Cent because they have so much in common. He's also been shot, he's also filed for bankruptcy, and he's also cooked up enough crack to make a cartel jealous. So if you've never heard the song Get Buck before, you really need to. Once you dive into the game, you'll notice that it has all the components of a third person shooter, like there's a cover system, you have four different weapon types, with every step you take and every bad guy you murder bringing you one step closer to victory. Game oh, over, bitch! Not that you even really need to know how to use the cover system, because 50 Cent's blind fire is virtually dead center accurate, so you can basically assume any random gunfire will result in an endless stream of headshots. Headshot. Taunting is also extremely important to learn because it gives you a steady stream of extra points throughout the entire game. So if you're spamming it correctly, it should sound something like It's over, motherfucker! Go ahead, pop off, bitch! Fuck you! Come on, get it, bitch! Pump, bitch! Bitch! Smile, motherfucker! Bring it on, bitch! Now this can cause a bit of an issue because if you spam it too much while performing certain actions with your sidekick, it can really throw off the dialogue. Come on, man! We need to work together on this shit! Yo, we need to team up on this shit, punk bitch. Come on, get it, bitch. I'm gonna rearrange your face, asshole. Piece of shit, cocksucker. Get back up in here. All right, bitch, fuck this. I'm gonna lay you out, bitch. Take it, motherfucker. Pussy punk bitch. Fucking take it. Counter kills are also utterly important, not only because they're the world's simplest quick time events where you spam a single button, but they also win you 300% bonus points per kill. So the path to a new high score is definitely paved with a non-stop chain of choke slams and broken jaws. This shit too easy. 
motherfucking whore! You die! In case enemies start to bunch up, tossing out nades like free t-shirts at a Nyx game is guaranteed to make any sequence a breeze, and with a max of five available, bad guys just seem to disappear. Try this bitch! Once you've taunted, blasted, and uppercut your way through clusters of enemies, it's finally time to toggle Gangsta Fire, 50's own personal adrenaline mode that slows time and makes things a whole lot easier to destroy. And if you think combat's simple, looting is basically busting open boxes full of diamonds and jewelry, ripping posters off of walls, and quite literally finding stacks of cash on the ground. Take it, you fool ass bitch! The more you loot and the more you murder, the more you have to spend at shady looking payphones on three different upgrades. Weapons, counter kills, and taunts. Everything is super straightforward because the more money you spend, the greater the outcome in combat, which means more weapon damage, flashier counter kills, and increasingly savage taunts. Eat dirt, bitch! Now I will add that I had no idea idea that all taunts known to 50 Cent were broken up into three categories of profanity, bragging without a G, and triple X, but hey, you learn something new every day. This is a fucked up shit! It honestly doesn't matter which weapons you use, because 50 Cent is lethal with just about anything, and that's readily apparent given how skilled he is at speed reloading shotguns and swapping pistol mags into Jesus pose. Ooh, they fucking done, 50! Man! How you like me now? Gonna fuck you up. As you blaze your way through the Middle East, long sequences of the game are punctuated with cutscenes of 50 Cent respecting women. Where's your boss, bitch? Where'd she go? That bitch took my skull. That bitch has got my skull. And boss fights, which are more or less firing RPGs at helicopters until they explode while villains yell profanities at you. I'm gonna make you my bitch. You can't survive by I'm a 50. You're gonna regret that, you fucking maggot. The driving missions are pure gold because all the enemies that you kill have prolonged death screams that are about 30 decibels louder than anything else. I don't know, but it has something to do with command. I don't give a fuck, it makes no difference if they get in my way. And that's not even mentioning the fact that enemies drive towards you with gigantic red drums filled with gasoline. If these aren't the greatest enemies in video game history, I don't know who are. We lose the combo, we're fucked! Yeah, I got you, Phil. But even they don't have anything on some of the lines of the main characters. Not that I even need to introduce them, because spoiler alert, everybody dies. Like, everybody. We're trying to find him, sir. Whoa. That's like... Ruining the fucking character development. And some of these one-liners, oh god, they're objectively perfect in every way. It's like the person that wrote them doesn't know what a cliché is. You are new here, so let me give you one piece of advice. Trust no one. You should remember, brother, in this city, trust no one. <laughs> you motherfucker! There is no end when you are a god! Oh, you're no fucking god! What the fuck are you still doing here, bitch? In this place, everything and everyone is for sale. And hey, there's even some romance, where 50 Cent ends up trusting this girl with a G-string so high she may as well put it over her shoulders that stole his skull in the first place until she betrays him and then he kills her. Sorry, baby. <laughs> The real fun of this game is throwing logic into the dumpster and channeling your inner Curtis Jackson. And the spamming of RPGs is a terrific place to start. Explosive slash incendiary pistol ammo? Count me in. Go fuck with me and my fucking group! Tack on all of 50 Cent's greatest songs blaring in the background at full volume, and you've got yourself one hell of a video game campaign in your hands. One so intense that I constantly found myself saying, I don't know what the fuck is going on, but I somehow don't want it to stop. This is absurd. On a scale from 1 to 10, I've got to give this game a 50 for being objectively perfect with no recognizable flaws. And if you don't agree with me, play it for yourself and you'll immediately understand. You trying to clown me, bitch? Now clown this! And that's about it. I would like to thank you very much for watching and be sure to tune in next time when we file for bankruptcy.